Hello? Is anyone still there? Anyone still subscribed? Hey guys, welcome to another video. I was just talking to my friend Z, uh, Zelda NRJ3 here on YouTube, and she was saying that someone was asking how I was and if I, if that, ugh, if Zelda had uh, heard from me or had my phone number or anything like that. So I said, oh, I better do a quick video and just say, hey everyone. So here I am. This is a completely off the cuff video, so I have no notes, nothing. Just wanted to come on and say hello. So I haven't made a video for quite a long time. Uh, tutorial wise it was last year and um, any video I think it was around March I think yeah so if you have seen that video you'll know why I'm having time off if you haven't um, I've been struggling with um, anxiety and yeah really just anxiety I guess not depression but but anxiety and the last update video I gave you, I said I was thinking about going to the doctors and at that stage, I really didn't want to go because I don't like doctors. I don't like anything medical. Sorry if that noise was really loud. That was wiping the fluff off the counter. Uh, I don't like anything medical. Um, blood pressure, anything. I'm talking anything medical. So I don't go to the doctors unless I really have to. Anyway, I ended up going to the doctors and they put me on some tablets um, don't ask me what they're called because I've got no idea. I just know that I have to take one every day. <laughs> and they are a low dose of anti-anxiety tablets. I think they actually are subscribed for depression as well. But um, I think they're like multi-purpose. Anyway, so I'm on that and I've been taking those for... I think it was around mid-April I started going on those tablets and anyone who's started medication like that will know that it, I couldn't go to sleep at night time then I couldn't stay awake for a few like for a few weeks I couldn't sleep at night and I was just like a zombie um, I love my sleep I could get like 10 hours of sleep and I wasn't getting any and I'd get like a couple of hours and I'd sleep in the day so my my clock was there anyway so then I went through quite a long time of sleeping a lot, like 12 hours a night, which is ridiculous for me personally. Like that's fine if you take 12 hours of sleep a night, but for me, that's way too much. Uh, so then I was feeling like rubbish in the daytime because I slept so much, but then I was sleepy as in the daytime and I was going to bed at like six o'clock at night where normally it's around 9.30. Um, yeah chaos so over the last couple of weeks i've actually noticed like i didn't notice it but then all of a sudden i thought oh um my sleep's evened out a bit so i'm back to about 10 hours um i, I just couldn't wake up in the mornings i would wake up and then go back to sleep wake up go back to sleep like 10 20 times and just could not get out of bed and my husband thought i was being lazy and i said look i literally can't wake up it's like a, it's like a, like a, um, like med medically, no, that's the wrong word. It's like when you take medication and you can't wake up. It felt like I'd taken a sleeping pill when I couldn't wake up, but I hadn't. Um, but now it's um, evened itself out and I'm able to get up um, and not to be a zombie. So it was a bit rough, but all in all, the most important part is the tablets are working. And if you did watch the last video, you probably noticed I'm a bit more happier in this video. This angle, my camera's just sitting on the bench. Um, the angle's a bit off, yeah, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm a lot happier in myself and I have evened out. Before it was just, you know, one day you'd have a good day and then the next day you'd just be not having a good day. <clears throat> and it was affecting my driving. I literally couldn't drive any further than the town that I live in or the next town, like, you know, within 10 minutes of my house. Um, that's still an issue, but I have improved a lot. And I'm going to see someone as well, psychologist, I think they're called. 
Psychologist? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. I'm going to see one of those, but I've only seen it once, so it was basically just the introduction and why are you stressed and why are you anxious? But the medication is helping f fantastic. Like, uh, I was always that person that said, no, I don't need any tablets. But I was also the person that said, if you need to take tablets to feel good, then take the tablet. But I always thought, no, I don't need it. I can handle it myself. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Didn't work so well. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just checking in to say hello. Um, so in saying that I feel really good and all that, I'm still not ready to come back and make tutorials. Making tutorials, editing, filming, making the product, um, uploading, keeping up with Facebook, keeping up with comments, etc, 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 is a full-time job. And it does stress me out it doesn't mean that you I was just saying this to Z before it doesn't mean you hate your job and it doesn't mean that you want to quit your job but it is full it's a full-on job when you've got quite a lot of subscribers thanks everybody and you know everyone's communicating and um, chatting and everything on the comments and Facebook and YouTube and it create but it does create a lot of work um, so I'm not ready for that now I I haven't given up because I still um, I still love crochet and I'm still designing things not a lot like I'd say I've only I've only designed maybe two or three things since Christmas but I still have that passion to want to let people know how to make something and I've also every second Monday I teach crochet in person now if anyone knows me, especially my closest friends, would know I was absolutely petrified to teach crochet. I was just, no, can't stand up in front of people. I don't like public speaking at all. I was like, I can't stand up in front of people. I can't hold a room and hold the conversation. Even though I can talk to my phone for hours. <laughs> or a video camera. <laughs> oh dear. Um... But anyway, someone approached me and said, it's only six ladies, we're very nice people, we all know each other, so it won't be sort of awkward silence between the students. Um, and we'd really like to learn to crochet. Some of us know how to crochet and some of us just need help on certain patterns. I said, look, I won't do it for free because, you know, well, it's a, it's a class, so... It's not for free because it was an, it's an ongoing thing. But they get it at a fantastic rate. And it just gives me a little tiny piece of pocket money. And, yeah. Helps with, um, it's not the word substitute is not the right word. Subsidize? I don't know. I don't know words. <laughs> um, it just helps with paying the bills because... Because I'm not working on YouTube, um, I'm not getting as much money as I would normally because I'm not creating content which creates income. But yeah, so I thought, and I also thought if I started teaching, that will keep my crochet brain going and it'll inspire me and hopefully get me back into wanting to work. I'm not quite there yet because my anxiety hasn't, it hasn't just disappeared it's still there but it's a lot lot less so I'm gonna try and keep this video under 10 minutes I've got a minute left um, yeah so it's helped a lot it really has I after I did my first class which was only about two months ago I don't even think it was that long ago it wasn't that long ago maybe yeah maybe let's say two months ago after I did my first class I was so excited I wasn't nervous at all Maybe for the first five minutes, but then I was like, I am so good at this teaching thing. I should do this for a profession. <laughs> no, it, it, um, it reassured me that I hadn't lost my passion for crochet, which I thought I had. Not to the full extent. It was still there, but it was in the background and it was keeping quiet because other things were at the front of my, at the front of my brain with anxiety and all that stuff. But yeah, so it really inspired me to remember who I am, like I'm Claire and I like crochet.
And I really love crochet. I, yeah, I didn't crochet for quite a few months because I picked up my knitting and then I was on this knitting binge and I was making a jumper, so it took a long time. And I didn't pick up my crochet hook, but when I started them classes, I picked that crochet hook up and it was like riding a bike. You don't forget, you just get back on and crochet away. So yeah, anyway, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you. Like I said, I've got no notes, so I don't know anything. Um, but yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Yeah, doing good. Um, let's just say I'm a work in progress. We all are, aren't we? So I'm a work in progress and this is a terrible angle. I've got my daggy old clothes on because I'm doing housework. But hey, this is me. As I said to see, it's not glamorous at this house. I'm cutting out like these rubber, not this is a scrap bit, but I'm cutting out these rubber things like it's like a rubber mat. And I'm putting them in my drawers because my plates and stuff keep sliding everywhere and it's annoying me. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I have to do the washing up, which is behind you in the camera. Yep, all the glamorous stuff here. Anyway, thanks everyone. Um, let me know how you are doing down in the comments. Haven't said that for a while. Let me know how you're going, what you're making, and what you've been up to since I saw you last. I hope you are all doing very well. And just remember that if you are struggling with something, go to the doctor. They have stuff that can help. And if you're not into medication, they have people that you can go and see and talk about stuff. So, yeah. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks for continuing to support me, even though I've there's just been crickets and I haven't been around. And... I really hope that I can get back into tutorials um, sooner rather than later. Thanks everyone. Bye. Oh, and I didn't keep it under 10 minutes. Sorry. How do we get out of here? Oh, not that button. That just made it go blurry. See ya.